Now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on my bio. I hope you'll go to my website, get to know me, read my credentials, my books. This isn't an advertisement for me. But I do want you to know something about me, so hopefully you'll pay a little more attention to the message that I'm going to share with you. So here's the credential you need to know about me. I'm 62. I wake up every morning without an alarm clock, usually 5.30 to 6 o'clock. I got a lot of energy. The number of prescription medications that I take, let me think, let me get a calculator, that would be zero. I play about 10 to 15 hours of tennis a week. I hike, I have dogs, I have a great relationship. I'm pretty fulfilled in my work. I'm really thrilled that I can be here sharing this information with you. And I believe this is absolutely possible for everybody listening to this. It's my mission statement. I wrote a mission statement once, and I, I suggest very strongly that you do the same thing. It's one of the, it, it can be part of a pillar of longevity to be clear about your purpose and write that mission statement out. Mine is to educate, inspire, and empower people with the gift of health, period. Educate, inspire, and empower people with the gift of health, hopefully, and entertain them at the same time. So, the one thing I do want you to know is that I'm not the way I am because of my genes. Genes are, let's get the gene thing out of the way. Genes are about 25% of the picture. They're about 25% of what, they, what scientists call the variants. Now, if you're not sure that I'm telling the truth about that, let me just say one thing to you about that. The world championship of poker. You ever see poker players play? They're really big on ESPN now. You see these guys playing for tremendous pots. Well, guess what? They get cards that are dealt, but a good poker player will wipe the floor with somebody who doesn't know what to do with those cards. They even have a game now on the internet called Duplicate Poker where everybody gets the same cards and the good poker players will wipe the floor with you. Same thing with backgammon. You throw the dice, can't do anything about the dice, but boy, those people who know how to play those dice will win every time. So it's not because of genes. We have a saying um, in nutrition called genetics loads the gun, but environment pulls the trigger. So it's not because of genes, it's because of lifestyle choices. That I'm the way I am and that you can be the way you are or the, or the way you'd like to be. It really, you have a lot of personal power in this regard. Your genes are not your destiny. Now, it wasn't always this way for me. I smoked. I drank. I was very overweight. I did all kinds of substances I shouldn't have done. At the age of 38, and I'm not kidding about this, I looked about 20 years older than I look now. I couldn't run around the block without getting winded. This is pretty much what I should have looked like if there was any uh, justice in the world. This guy lived pretty much the way I lived. That's Keith Richards. Of course, he gets a few more girls than I do, but that's how I probably should have looked. So I think I have some bona fides about what it takes to reverse some of the damage that you might have done and how to really live better and longer. And remember, we are not just talking about living longer. We're talking about living better. We're talking about being alive with a capital A.